Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today was a very exciting day because Andy over at Make the Cut released a beta plugin for the eCraft so that we can now cut directly from Make the Cut to the eCraft. Now this is just a beta version, he just released it a couple hours ago. I haven't really even gotten to play around with it too much, but I just wanted to show you a little something that I figured out about the orientation and give you a quick uh, look at the plugin and how it works. So first off, when we open up Make the Cut, typically this is the screen that we get where you have this arrow over to the side here that shows the direction that the mat is going to feed into the machine. Now one of the nice features that Andy put in a prior release for the Make the Cut is he gave us the option here, if you look over here under the virtual mat settings, we have landscape and now we can change to portrait which means now that the arrow is on top and this is how the paper will feed into the machine and this is very cool <laughs> because now this means that the way you put your paper into the machine is the way it'll come out no more of um, the way it was before is you had to look at it like if you were standing behind the e-craft that's not the case now so um, what I'm going to do here is the, we have this button here that says use these settings on every new project. When we click that, then that means whenever I select a new project to open, it's automatically going to open with these settings. Very cool. So first off, I want to show you the orientation. And to do that, I set up a project here where I put a number in each of the four quadrants, just going from one, two, three, four. And so we're going to go ahead and cut this out so that you can see that the orientation is going to look exactly like what we have on the screen here. Uh, before I switch over to the other camera, I want to show you the plugin. If we go to this cut project with, you'll see here the second uh, listed machine is the Craftwell eCraft. And when we click on that, it's going to give us this screen. Now, I don't have my eCraft plugged in right now. But if I did, under serial port here, it would have the, the COM number, and then it'll be after here the Silicon Labs uh, information about the driver. So you'll know right off the bat whether or not the Make the Cut is recognizing your eCraft. And from what I've played around with this um, prior earlier today, is as soon as you plug it in, Make the Cut re recognizes it. So that's awesome. No more restarting the software or anything like that to, to get the two to talk together. There's also a multiple, uh, multiple cutting setting here which we have disabled right now. There's a tool setting so we can select either the knife or the pen. Um, so what that means is that we're not be able to have it do cut lines and draw lines in one pass. Um, so I'm sure there's probably going to be some people that aren't going to like that too much and maybe that's something that Andy can change in the future. I don't know how easy or how difficult it would be for him to do that. So that might not be something that he would be willing to do. Um, but that's where we are right now. So you can draw with the pen or you can cut with the knife and I have done both here this evening and both work very well. Now we also have our cutting mode where we can select the roll tray or the front mode. And the very thing about this is that whatever you put in here overrides what is set on the console in the eCraft. So if you have the eCraft set up for manual mode and you select roll tray from here, that's how it's going to cut. And you don't need to worry about um, you know, going back and making sure that your console has the right setting. So we're going to go ahead and select roll tray mode and I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my other camera and we're going to cut out these numbers so that you can see the orientation of using make the cut with the eCraft. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start cutting the 1, 2, 3, 4 that we put on our mat using the make the cut program and I'm just setting it up here. I've got a piece of cardstock in the tray, so I've got this set to tray. I did not need to change my settings on the eCraft at all to do this, so you can keep them on manual settings through the console. You don't need to um, change them in here in order to use the tray through Make the Cut. 
and we're going to go ahead and hit start. And you'll see that it loaded the paper and now it's like checking the length of the paper or something because it goes back and forth there and now it's going to start cutting. And one thing I want to show you actually is the screen here. If you notice the screen has changed and it's actually showing us the nodes. We have 602 nodes that need to be cut here and it's cutting number 100 right now and it's 16 now 18% done. So it already cut the four down in this section here and now over here it's cutting the three. The other thing that I've noticed with using me cut here in just a couple hours that I've had to play with it is it seems like it does cut slower than um, it did in the eCraft software which I actually think is probably a bonus because the slower it cuts the more like the less likely you are to get any kind of tearing or anything like that so I would rather have a slower speed setting on it personally. Uh, it would be nice if the software could um, have a speed setting built into it so that we could select what speed we wanted. It does have that for the Cricut, but um, I don't think it's really necessary. It would be nice, but it probably isn't a necessary thing to have either. So, And now we are done. And you'll see here that it says here, press down arrow to return to menu. And it's going to keep that on there as long as you have the software set up to make the cut. And so now you'll see here that we've got um, our one, two, three, and four that have cut in the page exactly like how we had it on the screen. So that solves the big orientation people uh, problem that people were having trouble getting used to using the eCraft software. And that is the orientation for the eCraft and I'm going to play around with this some more and I'm sure I'll come up with some some more things to share with all of you but I just wanted to share that real quick with you and give you your first glimpse of what the plugin looks like for Make the Cut and the eCraft.